Okay, so the first thing to do with any circuit like this, whether it's uh, for resistors or capacitors, is to redraw the circuit um, into something that looks like uh, a parallel and series type of circuit. And I always start with the battery. So if I want to redraw this, I'm going to start with the battery. And I always like to put the battery personally on the left. Right, so that's my battery. This is the plus side. This is the minus side. And I just go around, right? So I go here. So if I go like up and around, say this is point C. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to make this point B. And notice from point B, right, I've got C1 is coming off of B, C2 is coming off of B, and C4 is coming off of B. So I really have three um, parallel uh, um, pieces of the circuit. So this one, this one, and this one. I'm not worrying about C3 yet, but I do know I have C1, I have C2. So I can do um, kind of like go like this, and then have three paths. Okay, and then, um, so I'm going to make this one, oops, later. this one is going to be my C2, or my C1, sorry, this one's going to be my C1, this one's going to be my C2, and then this one's going to be my C4. And so I'm just looking at C4. C4 comes back around to the bottom of the battery. So I can just connect this one to the bottom of the battery. But C1 and C2, they combine here, and then they go to C3. So I can make them combine, and then they go to C3. OK, so just make sure you're able to do this. If, you're, if you struggle with this, then uh, let me know. I can give you some examples. And it just takes practice to like see it this way, to, to um, be able to redraw a circuit like this, makes the calculations and the thinking about the circuit much, much, much easier. Um, so now I'm just going to redraw the circuit with um, values in it. So I'm going to make this uh, 8 volts. This is point C. I forgot to write in B, and this is point A. This is going to be 1. I'm not going to do units right now. Just uh, They're all microfarad, so I don't want to worry about it too much. This is 3. This one is four. Okay, so um, it's asking me first to calculate the total. Uh, let's see. It says find the equivalent capacitance of this circuit. So let's just. I'm going to do this over on the other page because we can still see it. Um, but I've got um, what happens for parallel. So for parallel circuits, uh, capacitance um, adds. All right, so that means that I can combine 1 and 2. So I'm going to redraw that. And now I'm going to call, uh, this is going to be 1 and 2 combined right here. I'm putting them together into one capacitor. So this is going to be now, I, I'm going to add them because parallel in parallel capacitance adds. So this is going to be 3. And then I've got my 3 here. So if this one's equal to 3. And then this is my C4, which is still 4. This is 8. OK, so now what do I do when I have two capacitors in series? In series, I have um, 1 over C is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So that's my equivalent capacitance for these two. I'm going to add them, so I'm going to say when I put these two together, I'm going to have 1 over, so in our case, uh, let's do 
1 over c is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3. And so when I flip it, I get this c is going to equal to one, 3 halves or 1.5. So I'm going to redraw this again. This is my 8 volt battery. So now I've got 1.5 and this is still 4. Um, so now the last piece that I need to do then is when I have two uh, capacitors in parallel, I um, just add them. So I'm just going to make them 1. So 4 plus 1.5 is 5.5. And that's microfarad. So that's my equivalent capacitance for the whole, whole circuit is 5.5. So I've got A down, and now B is uh, find the charge on each capacitor. So what we can do is we can, um, if we know we've got this circuit, uh, all right, and we'll just do our equivalent, so 5.5. Uh, this is our 8-volt battery. Then our, um, our total charge, so Q total, is just equal to um, my notes. So Q is equal to C times V. So I'm just going to have 5.5 microfarads times 8 volts, and that's going to equal uh, 44 micro coulombs. So that's my total. And so um, if I go back and look at the circuit before, so the step before, I'm going to have something that looks like this. All right, so this was my, this side, this was my C4, and my C4 was equal to 4. And this was the combination of C1 and C2 and then C3, right? And that was going to equal 1.5. So right here, I can I know that my charge is a combination. So charge in, um, so let's write that down, charge Q um, adds in parallel. Okay, so... Um, so I know that my, if I think about the voltage across this capacitor, it's one capacitor. What is the voltage across? Well, I know it's equal to 8 volts. So now I can say, so Q4 is just equal to C4 times um, V across that capacitor, which is 8 volts. So that's going to be 4 microfarads times 8 volts, and that's equal to 32 microcoulombs. And so what I know is I know that what's left, right, what's left is 12 uh, microcoulombs, and that's what I'm going to have across here. Um, so if, um, so Q adds in parallel, but Q is equal in series. Which kind of makes sense, right? If I have um, two resistors, like if I go back and look uh, here, if I have two here, two um, capacitors in series, right? They, they're going to have to have the same charge because these plates, this plate and this plate, are connected to each other. So it has to have the same charge when you have series capacitors. Okay, so, so that means I'm going to have, um, let's see, uh, Q3. Um, is going to be Q total minus uh, Q4 over 2. And that's going to be equal to, so that's 12 divided by 2 is going to equal 6 microcoulombs. So if I think about this out, here I'm back here now. Uh, all 
right? So I've got um, 12. I know this is going to be 12 because the this side has the other 32. So this is going to be 12. If this is 6, then this has to be 6, right? And I know that these add. So these are going to have to add up to 6. So I'm not sure. They're not equal because these two capacitors aren't equal. But I know they add up to 6. Um, uh, so the other thing I know is that... Um, Um, I can figure out, so I'm going to pause this because I have to do something and I'll come back. So how do I do that?